What's up, everyone? Aaron Negler here, PackersNews.com. I'm here with Michael Cohen of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Michael, the Packers set to kick off their OTAs. Uh, obviously, a bunch of storylines to follow. I think one that I'm not necessarily under the radar, but is probably not going to garner a lot of headlines, but is of utmost importance for the Packers coming off of last year, is who wins that backup quarterback spot. Clearly, they traded for Deshaun Kaiser. Brett Hundley is still there. What are you going to be looking for in regards to the snaps that these guys get? Yeah, the the way that the the reps are distributed, I think, is going to be very fascinating for a couple of reasons. One, because the idea of Kaiser and Hundley going head to head, I think, is a le- very real and very legitimate thing. You know, I would be surprised if if both of those guys made the fifty three man roster. And then the flip side of that is it sort of tells you what the coaches think of of Kaiser and Hundley in terms of how quickly, if at all, those reps shift from Hundley more so over to Kaiser. Because for a team that drafted as many wide receivers as they did, and for a team that has as many corners on the roster, they need every single spot they can get. So unless both Hundley and Kaiser absolutely hit it out of the park, it feels like they're competing for one job next fall. Now, you mentioned the cornerbacks. They obviously drafted too early. How quickly do you think they insert those guys into the starting rotation? Clearly, you got Tremont Williams coming back. You have to think he's going to be locking down one of those spots. Uh, How soon do you see those guys hitting the field? Well, I think Alexander could very well be the starting nickel, not only when the season opens, but also when OTAs open. Now, they may rotate in a veteran here or there just to take like the very first rep of a drill. So Alexander doesn't have to be the first guy out on the field. But I think that he's got to be penciled in essentially as that starting nickel. I mean, the only other real option that they have at this point would be Quentin Rollins if he's recovered from his Achilles, which I don't think that's the case yet. Or B, Lindsey Pipkins, who is very different body type wise from Jair Alexander. So I think that he has a chance, Alexander, that is, you know, to come in and play almost immediately. And then, you know, you mentioned the fact that Jermon Williams and Kevin King will, will be the outside corners. You know, then I have to think that right behind them, it's probably Devon House and then Josh Jackson. So those two guys could be the three and the four when it comes to the perimeter position. So I expect both guys to play a lot, you know, fairly early, especially Alexander in the slot. There you go. All the latest heading into OTAs from Michael Cohen. For Michael, I'm Aaron. We'll talk to you soon.